Yes. Um, I guess, well, I know, health. Health. What about it? Uh, I want it. And for some reason, I prefer drama yeah. in my uh, creations. Yeah. <laughs> I, and, and again, why is this? Why the health issue for, for anyone right now? Oh, boy, just to really live fully. Yes. I mean, it's, it's like... But why, was, why is there, was there a health issue to begin with? Why was there one? Yes. Well, that's a million dollar just, question. Just because uh, nature, just because you're living in a physical body, you're going to I don't uh, know. have health issues? I mean, I've been through cancer four times. Yeah, too many. Too many. So it seems like there's something more to it than yes. just... Than just your happenstance. Statistically unfortunate. Right. Yes. Yeah. So what is, what is it when, when there's the health issue? Quite simple. Yeah. Loving self. Loving self. Yeah. Excuse not to right. live. Could I be very bold and blunt with Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Really? Three times I'll ask. Go really? Really? It. Yeah. Okay, really. Really. Good. Attention. Yeah. Attention. A lot of attention. Yeah. Don't judge yourself. It's not bad. You've all done it before, but you get a lot of attention that way. Uh, attention that you didn't get before. Attention that you were always giving to others but never received. So suddenly you have a health issue, you get a lot of attention. It's energy, mm -hmm. feeding, not, not malicious feeding, but look what it's doing. And, and it's, yeah. you eventually get the attention from yourself, but what pain and what suffering you have to go through to get there. You don't deserve it. Cancer is um, generally has to do with, with hatred, the energies of hate, primarily with self. So you take that on and it keeps coming back until you love yourself mm -hmm. uh, implicitly, unconditionally, and you stop getting attention from all the other people around you. I mean, and attention could come from a doctor, or from, a, from Chambra, from the people who are going right now, going, oh, I feel so bad for her because she's had cancer. Well, I think part of it is my dad was a doctor and he was a disappeared parent. Yeah. And that was my, I mean, my first cancer at 19, yeah. I felt was that way of me trying to get him exactly. back. Exactly. Uh, very observant. Uh, very observant. But it's not worth it. it no. it's, it's not. It's hell. Oh, it is. It's hell. It's tiring. And you can't really enjoy life when you have that. So, with some very good deep breathing, attention for yourself, uh, no, and disconnect from what you're getting from anyone else. Re refuse it. Um, okay. Not that they're, uh, they're consciously offering, but they are offering. It. No, you're going to you're going to get it from yourself. There is this thing called your soul, your divine, your your self that wants to give you that love, that attention. You don't need it anywhere else. Mm right there. And, and more than anything, you actually really deserve it. Mm -hmm. Gone through enough now. Mm -hmm. Deep breathing. If you have trouble doing breathing, please talk to Andra. I will. She'll get you <laughs> into your body. And it's scary for somebody who's had cancer to get back into your body. Very, very scary thing to do because the body is th theoretically what you think, it, the thing that's betraying you. Keeping, how can you trust yourself when your body is betraying you? Uh, there, there's complex issues, but it boils down to get that, get that attention, that love from yourself. And yourself means your spirit, your, your soul, your divine. It, that's what really wants to give you the love. Good. Thank you.